This is the 16th video in this series working with the pool table model in Blender and in the last video we made some UV images for our cue sticks. So let's open those images up. I'll start off with the cue. So cue bitmap. Open that image. That looks good. We'll add a new material. I'll just leave the name material and tell it to set the text face option and tab into object mode, select the tips, edit mode, select all, open the image, so open tip.bitmap, open that image up, and let's have a look at the way this tip worked out, and that worked out a little bit so-so, Perhaps I could use getting moved around a bit. So I'm going to grab that and move that down a little bit. And hopefully that'll be good. And again, I'll give it a material. I'll just link it to the material for the entire queue. So set that up. Now we're going to do a little bit of editing on the tips, particularly on the tip. So let's go into vertices mode, deselect all, box select the tip, and subdivide that a couple times. So we'll go into the editing buttons, subdivide, one, two, and that'll give us a lot of vertices to play with here. Now I'm going to set smooth. I'm going to smooth it once, zoom in, deselect, select just the tip again, and smooth that a couple more times, maybe three or four times, five. Five looks pretty good. And that's going to give us a nice rounded tip as well. It's going to pull that blue dot out around and give an impression of a nice round tip with chalk on it. And there's a lot of vertices there, but I thought that looked pretty nifty, so I went with that. So we can do this similar process to the back end of the queue. So deselect all, box select this subdivide it oh, one or two times, smooth it off a few times, and just give it a bit of a rounded edge. And that looks pretty good. So let's tab into object mode. Select both of these and control J to join them. So we'll join those meshes. Come into the editing buttons, set it to smooth. Let's get our pool table back here. And well, having two cues seems like a good idea, so let's shift duplicate that, rotate it by 90 degrees. That looks, or 180 degrees, I should say. And pull it to the other end of the table. And about the only thing left to do with this now is to set up a still scene and see what we can do with it. So that's what I would do, is set up a still scene for a render. You know, rotate things around, move the balls around. They could use being rotated too. They'd look a little more convincing if they weren't all sitting number side up. But I'll leave that to, to you guys to do. And let's see. I believe that I've got a blend file with a scene set up already here. And let's just do a quick render and have a look see at what we got. So I'll render that up. So that's it. My finished project. Um, from here, people can do with this what they will. Um, there's the option to join the parts in the pool table. As well, some parts of the pool table could use being set to smooth. The pockets, for example, would look a lot better smooth. Um, the rails, um, they might look a little bit better if they were set to smooth, as well as some portions of the wood, and mostly in the area of the bevel to the bottom of the table, might look better smoothed, or set to smooth. So, those are just some, some little ideas, and joining the components of the table may be an idea, or maybe not, depending on whether you want to use it in an animation sense, or or try to make a pool game out of it. Um, for me, I'm going to put this project aside for a while and 
Maybe I'll look at it in the game engine to see what I can figure out, but I highly doubt that I'd be coming back with any videos on that because such game would be probably a little more complicated than than might first seem. So that's it for this series, and until the next series, happy modeling.